What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to show you guys a reason why I think Young Kiv has been one of the best offensive players in Madden 18 in the competitive scene. Uh, everybody knows, most people know at this point he runs that gun bunch from West Coast, but it's the small things that he does that I think are very impressive and that separates him from most of the pack. So in this example is going to be from one of his earlier Ultimate League games against Joel. So I'm going to show you guys second down, third down, and we're going to go back to first down as well. But here, second and 10, Kiv driving up 7-0. And on this play, he's actually going to get locked up. So Joel's in this dollar defense. Kiv going to go to a corner strike setup here. And Joel's going to go with a cover one press. So uh, everything's really locked up on this cover one press against this corner strike. Nothing really gets open. Uh, Kiv's only hopes are really just the outside corner route. So right here, corner route didn't really get the separation he wanted to. Out here, C route looks like it might get separation, but and something that's very important. Joel has a second zone out here on and so that's going to be very important in the next down and, and how Kiv kind of takes advantage of that fact but both of the routes you want to look for against man-to-man -man defense out of corner strike just aren't open Kiv has to force it and uh, ends up getting an aggressive catch animation Joel flips his guy gives ends up dropping the ball so third and ten and in most players what they're going to do uh, if they call a play that succeeds on second down and everything looks locked up most of the time they're going to go back to it on the next play and that's just kind of how most people's minds work is just how it is and so right here kiv goes to deep attack on third and ten now up to this point uh, kiv had run deep attack i have him running it eight times up to this point five times against skimbo once against spot me twice against Stevie and then this was his first time against Joel and the reason this is important is because of the setup he goes with so he goes with the setup we're on the right side of the field I believe he fades that outside guy and then you can see the whip developing that he runs the outside I actually went over that Skimbo was running that concept Kiv also runs it it's a nice little Ohio concept that works well against Tampa two defenses um, but the combination you want to focus on is on the left side here so he's got the post from deep attack and then what Kiv does is he goes with a wheel route out of the backfield by his running back. And so this is something that up to this point, he had only called deep attack eight times, like I said. And out of those eight times, he had only put his running back on a wheel route once. And so that's 12.5% of the time he runs this setup, which is not high at all, obviously. And so there's, there's really no way Joel could have predicted uh, this to come. But I think Kiv went to this setup. Uh, for a couple reasons, I think Kiv definitely noticed that whenever Joel went to that man-to-man -man, uh, that, you know, he had another zone. That's where this comes into play, right? So he had that second zone. Where did that second zone come from? This guy right here, it's the guy that's supposed to be manned up on the running back. Joel was taking a risk and going ahead and putting him into a hard flat, it looks like. And so that's what you're going to see right here, third and ten. He's in a hard flat, Joel using over the middle of the field. Kiv knows. Kiv knows he has this. At the snap of the ball, it seems like, you know, he has all this room to run. He could have just taken off if he wasn't certain that a route was going to get open. It's tough to pass the ball at the 15-yard line in the red zone. So you might say, you know, just scramble up and take what you can get. Take your field goal. That's what a lot of players would do. But it really seemed like Kiv knew, you know, at the snap of the ball, this route's going to be open. He throws it, and it's a pretty tight, I mean, I say it's a tight window. It was wide open, but you don't have much time to throw that pass. Like, once, you have to recognize it, and once he passes the cornerback in the hard flat, you have to be ready to throw that ball, or else you're going to run out of space, and we all know how, you know, Madden works when you're trying to squeeze in throws on the sidelines and, and getting your players to drag their feet, uh, but... I think that's an important reason why that, that route worked right there because of the fact that Joel went with that cover one, but he took the man-to-man -man defender off the running back and threw him into a hard flat. But something else that I think a Kiv definitely could have caught on to, I don't know if he did 100%, and this is where I want to go back to first down. So this is going to be first down here. And notice that Joel is still in this dollar. He runs dollar pretty much exclusively. And he's always, you know, baseline pressing, kind of the same look. But notice his safeties back here and notice their depth. Notice that they're both standing on the goal line. So in this case, he ends up coming out and Kiv runs a draw here, I believe. Yeah, and it's DB fire two press. So you can see at the snap of the ball, notice the safeties and notice how they drift apart at the snap, how they're going both to the outside. So that screams, it's a Tampa two shell. 
and you got the guys blitzing off the edge. So it, it's clearly it's DB Fire 2 press from Dollar here. So the main takeaway there is the depth of the safeties. Now, notice second and 10, Joel goes to the cover one. This is the, the down that he locked up the corner strike. But notice Joel's safeties. Notice how the right side safety takes a step up and the back side, the left side safety takes a step back. So now he's got one in the end zone and one at about the three or four yard line. So they're offset staggered. This is kind of giving away, you know, this doesn't look like DB Fire 2 anymore uh, because of the way the safeties are aligning pre-snap and, and Joel didn't touch them. You can see Joel stayed on his linebacker. That's just naturally what they did. And then the very next play, they do the same thing. So once again, third and 10, this is where Kiv scores. Once again, left side safety in the end zone, right side safety up at about the, the two yard line. So now they're offset. So Joel was doing something in his cover one setup that was offsetting his safeties. And it's something that I'm not 100% sure if Kiv caught onto this and, and ended up knowing, oh, whenever his safeties line up like this, he's definitely in cover one press. Um, but that's definitely something else that could have led Kiv to knowing, okay, you know, he's in cover one again. I know this wheel route's going to be open. So just something uh, to take note of that I'm sure the top players are going to notice these types of things. And so it's just processing all of this information in real time and then executing on it is very impressive to me. And so, uh, you know, I think Kiv has definitely been one of the best offensive players this year in Madden 18. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.